Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome, fun physics lesson. Today, my friends, we are going to learn about displacement. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to double click on MT Tools and find that blank file. Simply double click blank, and when the blank file opens, you'll have the blue bottom, and then I want you to roll that one meter mark out till it's a little bit smaller than it was when it started. Remember, you can right-click, drag to move this up or down. And we're going to start learning about displacement by using a box. I'm going to drop the box over here. I'm going to hit play to let it settle to the ground. Then I'm going to pause and I'm going to find the fixate button. I'm going to zoom in really quickly so this ends up being tiny and nobody notices. But when you click this X, it locks that box in that location permanently. Right now we're going to stack several circles on top of this box. Bring a circle out and draw it to your left, thinking about how you're going to do three and three so they fit. Zoom in on that cool little circle you just made and find the tracer tool. When you put a tracer on, you can click on the tracer and you can pick its color. Notice whichever shape is selected is the one you're messing with. I'm going to take it and make this a bright yellow because I want it to show up making sure that I find the exact yellow I like, and then pushing it all the way out to the value so I get the one that I think is cool. I'm going to make three or four tracers on each of these because it makes it more fun. And I'm going to make them all neat colors. It gives you an auto color if you ever don't like it. Once again, click the shape, click appearance, find the custom color that you really wanted, and then slide them across to make them appear. I'm going to use the rectangle tool to grab that entire shape and its pieces and then I'm going to slowly click clone twice. I'm going to grab all of those and I'm going to clone again and then while they're selected I'm going to bring them down below. I'm going to scroll back out so now I can see my little shape. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to do selection and I want to make sure I move them to the front. And now when I set them on top of my cute little cube, I am ready for the first test. I'm going to set this in the middle so that it looks better. I want you to set yours up like that too. And then I would like you to pause the movie and you press play on yours to see it happen without seeing it move on mine first. All right, so if you've already watched on yours, now I'm going to show you on mine. This is what displacement is. Two objects cannot be in the exact same place at the exact same time. So when we hit play, we get an awesome little explosion where those take off and fly in every direction. I am going to use undo to bring them back. All right, so let's make this just a little bit cooler. I'm grabbing all of these again. I'm going to raise them up a little so that I'm sure they don't get trapped underneath. I'm going to select that entire box, and then I'm going to clone it again and again and again because more explosions are better than less. I can also take these and give them a little bit of a direction. If I right click, these now rotate. So I'm going to shoot that one that way. I'm going to shoot this one this way. And now I'm going to hit play and see what my new explosion looks like. See how it's getting more and more awesome. After each attempt, make sure you do undo to bring it back. So that way all of our cool creations build on our original creation. All right, for our next little experiment, make sure you're back to this base screen. You notice I've just got mine drugged down, and I scrolled out a little bit, and I want you to draw a sphere up above or a circle up above. I want you to get it fixated, just like we did before. But now we're going to use a different tool. We're going to use the cut tool. All right, so make sure that this shape is not selected. Start your cut tool, and then I want you to cut out the inside kind of like a circle. It won't be perfect, but we don't really care. And then click the Move tool and delete that inside. So now you've got a shape attached to the sky with a hollow inside. With that shape selected, let's go to Material and look at all the awesome things we could pick. We are just going to mess with one characteristic called Restitution. I would like you to backspace and make that 2.5. If you slide it, it only goes to 1, so that's why we need to click the little box, backspace, and type 2.5. You can try different numbers after that, but once you've got that done, draw a sphere or two inside. And if you just hit play, they will fall in and they will bounce a little bit. 
I'm going to go back and I'm going to take one of these little balls inside and I'm going to change its material to also be something like 2.5 or maybe even 3.5. You can experiment with what is, what is better. And then because we're doing the fireworks with the tracers, I'm going to add some cool tracers to these as well. And let's see what happens with this little cool experiment. Once again, I'm going to ask you to hit play first and watch it on your own before you watch mine. All right, I'm going to assume you took the time to do that. And I'm going to press play on my screen and let's see what happens. Notice it's a different kind of firework where they actually gain momentum because of those two balls that collided and made it launch. If I make more than one of these spheres, I'm going to go back to the selection tool. I'm going to give another one some more restitution by clicking material restitution. I'm going to set it to 2.5 and I'm going to try setting the entire thing to 3 as I just explore the different ways I can use restitution, which is how much it bounces to make it more awesome. So now with the whole outside circle at 3.5, we back up and do another experiment. <laughs> so now they are fireworks that launch all over the world. And then the neat thing about this is we can grab that entire project and you can clone it as you make an incredibly cool project that teaches you a little bit about displacement and also how the restitution and properties work. It just gets more and more cool the more you play. Alrighty friends, so you can fiddle around with this a bit. Just do remember that you have to have a screenshot. So back out to when you've got it, something like this. Get your screenshot and turn it into Google Classroom. Friends, if you had fun with this, give it a thumbs up. If you've got a question or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.